Hi, my dear students. In the last class, we has been discussed regarding virus as well as bacterial phases. We has been discussed. And today, I am going to start with the viroids, prions, lichens. Okay. The today topic is viroids. Viroids are smaller than smaller than virus. These are smaller than virus. These viroids are first discovered by Daimler. Viroids were first discovered by Daimler in potato plants. Potato. In potato, this virus are called the disease. So that's why it is also called as potato spindle tumor virus. P S T B. P S T B means potato spindle tumor. Virus, potato, spindle, tumor, virus. Here, what is the major difference between virus to virus? The major difference is here. <clears throat> virus are do not consist. These are do not consist protein layer or protein coat. Here protein coat is nothing but what? Protein coat is capsid. Capsid is absent. Due to the absence of capsid or capsule meal, the RNA is present. The RNA is naked RNA or we can call it as open RNA. Generally in tobacco mosaic virus, we has been discussed in the RNA is generally is present in within the surrounding of capsule meals or capsule. But in this case, capsid is absent. So that's why RNA is open RNA or natural RNA. Next, these are the molecular weight of virus is lesser than virus. Molecular weight. Molecular weight is lesser than lesser than virus. Lesser than virus. Clear? And our genetic information is genetic information is S S R N E. Single standard, single standard RNA is a genetic information. It is disease causing to material. Clear? So this is only regarding wider information. So in the exam, they will definitely ask a question from what is the major difference between virus to viroids? Virus to viroids. If it is a true more question, we have to write while viroids are smaller than virus. These are low molecular weight. Next, they cause a disease to potato. So that we will also put as PSTV. Potato, spindle, tumor, virus. Clear? So this information is enough for two more question. Viroids are. Next one, prions. Prions. Again, one more question or two more question. The chances is there to ask like one more question. Prions means these are misfolding. Misfolding proteinaceous. Proteinaceous poisonous or infected. Infectious. 
molecules. Molecules. Clear? Prions means what? Prions are generally in cytoplasm. After a formation of proteins, they are going to fold it. Primary folding, secondary folding, tertiary folding. After the folding, the proteins are some proteins are act as structural proteins, some proteins are act as functional proteins. But here what happens? These proteins are misfolded. Misfolding of proteinaceous infectious or poisonous molecules. So such are called as what? Prions. So which have the capacity to cause diseases which have the Kuru disease Kuru disease it is also known as laughing laughing death disease in human such is considered by prions so next disease is Jacob disease. Jacob disease in animals, humans also. Next one is especially Markov disease. Markov disease. Markov disease, especially cattle and cow. Clear? So this is regarding prions. Now what we discuss? First one is virus, bacteriophages, viroids, and prions. So the chance, the chances is there to ask, to ask the questions like difference between virus to viroids, bacteriophage to viroids, or prions to viroids. Like they are going to ask the question for two more questions as well as one more questions. Like it's the like it, the term the word is first used by Theophastus. Theophastus he was first used the like the word. Study of like it, study of like it, study of like it is called as Lichenology. Study of lichens is called as what? Lichenology. The father of lichenology is father of lichenology is Eric Eric Acharius. Eric Acharius. The lichen, the lichen, the word first changed is by Theophastus. Study of lichen is called as lichenology. The father of lichenology is Eric Acharius. And we know that virus, bacteriophages, viroids, prions, and as well as lichens. So these all are they are, they are not included in any one of the five human classification. Whitaker is not considered this all of our acellular organisms. So let's see lichens. Lichens are generally it is an association of it is a association of algae as well as it is an association of RNA as well as fungi. So in this association, RNA it can perform photosynthesis. It perform photosynthesis. And I am going to prepare food molecules. Nothing but organic molecules are prepared by RNA. So these organic molecules, it is also supply for fungi. It is also supply the organic components to 
fungi. Next, fungi. The fungi role in lichen. The fungi it will give the shelter. Shelter to algae. As well as fungi, it protect or it will be the protection to algae. Next, fungi it absorb the water molecules, water molecules as well as minerals for algae. For algae. So due to this association, henceforth it is called as symbiotic symbiotic a relationship symbiotic a relationship you know already very well what is symbiotic association or symbiotic relationship it is a mutual relationship between two organisms in this two in this relationship both organisms have benefited such a type of a relation is called as symbiotic relationship. So in this association, algae also have the benefit. Fungi also have the benefit. What is the benefit of algae? Algae, it can algae, it can uh, protection from fungi. Then algae gain a like a shelter from fungi. And for photosynthesis, water molecules are required. Such water molecules are separated by fungi. So this is the profit of algae. Next, all, what is the profit? What is the benefit of fungi? You know that fungi is a saprophyte in nature. Fungi is a heterotroph organism. Fungi individually it can't prepare the food molecules. So that's why it should be depend upon another organism. Here, algae supply the food molecules or organic molecules to fungi. So this is a mutual relationship between the two organisms. In this mutual relationship, both organisms are benefited. So that's why it is the best example for symbiotic association. In this association, algae, algae, Algae it can perform the photosynthesis. So that's why it is called as phycobiome. It is called as phycobiome. And fungi, fungi it is called as mycobiome. is mycobiome fungal water is called as myco myco means what mushroom mycelium mycobiome clear next so in this lichen relationship major portion is major portion or major portion place is occupied by fungi 60 to 70 percent of body is fungal body and fungi it can play a great role in reproduction also it can play a great role in a reproduction also next here this like it's a some of the scientists have said that this relationship is master and slave relationship it is a master and a slave relation. Master and slave relation. How it is master and slave relation? Master, who is the master here? The kingmaker is your what? Algae. Slaves are who? Slaves are fungi. Clear? So that's why some of the scientists have said that it is a master and slave, slave relationship. And nowadays it is also called as henotism. 
nowadays instead of master and slave relationship they are called as elotism they are called as elotism next based on based on fundamental partner based on based on fungal partner lichens are again divided into two types the first one is ascolichens second one is basidiolichens first one is what ascolichen second one is basidiolichen simple asco it means asco mycotina the fungal partner is asco mycetes member asco mycetes member next algae is mostly blue green algae b g a blue green algae nothing but cyanobacteria next basidio lichens simple here the fungal partner is belong to basidio mycetes basidio mycetes and in this case also in basidio lichens also the algal partner is b g a blue green algae clear in the last class we have some discussed regarding bga it is also called as cyanobacteria it can perform photosynthesis like i say algae what are the example nostoc anapida cytonema nostoc anapida cytonema so these all are the best example for bga in algae sorry in lichens 80% of phycobion 80% of phycobion is only one type that is bg that is bg only 20 20% is other than some of the green algaes 20% algaes are green Like as flower and monarchs, like different, different. Clear? Yeah. So this is regarding what lichens. Where you have to focus more? To you, fastest. First, you should listen lichens. Algal partner is called as phycobion. Fungal partner is called as mycobion. Next, it is a relationship. The relationship it is also called as master and slave. relationship nowadays it is also called as elotism mostly algal partner is bga clear so this is regarding lichens general characters types types based on based on types based on types The first one is crustose lichen. Second one is foliage lichen. Third one is fruticos lichen. So here, these are three types of the lichens based on thallus structure, based on thallus external morphology. crustus like it simple definition is here crust or it is strongly attached or other to other to a rock surface a rock surface we can remove easily without injury of the like so that was strongly associated to a rock surface that is called as what crustose lichen next one is foliage foliage means it is thallus is look like as 
leaf like structure and lobe lobes are present leaf like structure as well as lobes are present next it is attached to the rock surface by rhizids by rhizids so this is enough information regarding foliage and the last one is fruit goes like that fruit goes like in this case the lichens are generally uh, branched branched and look at as small herb or sherb herb and sherb here in this case fruit goes is it is branched with herbs and mostly it is look like as sherb erect erect and a branch so this is regarding fruit goes like this is regarding fruit goes like these are three types of like this very simple like the first one is this is first one which one crustose like next one is what foliage it is a foliage like that. simple it should be leaf like and lobes lobes should be present enough third one is fruit goes like that. this fruit goes like that. here it is like this person it is branched and look like as sherb sure. so this one is fruit goes like it so these are the types of lichens and the last term regarding economic importance of lichens economic importance of lichens so these are also used as food and some of the lichens also used for medical purpose it means they are preparing antibodies antibiotics sorry antibiotics are prepared from lichens clear in NCRT it is very clearly given lichens are more sensitive for pollution these are more sensitive for pollution so it means that do not go in polluted areas especially in industrial areas in industrial locations while this industrial sorry, industrial location like and so do not occur because in industrial areas Sulfur dioxide concentration is very high. Atmosphere is polluted. So that's why lichens are do not present in polluted areas, nothing but industrial areas. These are air pollution indicators. If lichens are present, that, that air is free air, not a polluted location. Clear? So this is regarding lichens. So this is the last chapter this is the last uh, topic of second chapter clear so from the beginning in the second chapter we have been discussed regarding archaea bacteria u bacteria cyanobacteria complete monera kingdom general characters we have been discussed next we enter into the protista in protista chrysophytes dinoflagellates eugenoids slime molds Protozoans, we have been discussed. 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ ಫಂಗೈಟ್ ನಿಂದ ಇನ್ನು ಫಂಗೈಟ್ ನಿಂದ ಫೈಕೋಮೈಸಿಟಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕೋಮೈಸಿಟಿಸ್ ಬೆಸಿಡಿಯೋಮೈಸಿಟಿಸ್ ಡಿಜುರೋಮೈಸಿಟಿಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನಿಮಿಡಿಯಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಸೊ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೈರಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯ ಫೇಸಸ್ ವೈರೋಯ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಜನರಲಿ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿತ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾರಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಥ್ಯ